Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Wyoming Blessed with Tish and if you haven't done so already, what do they need to do? Like, comment, subscribe and share the video and hit the notification bell which is over here. Uh huh. So that you'll be notified when a video is uploaded. Y'all, today we are doing the TikTok viral pasta. Oh, you can't really see it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get that back so you can see it a little better. <laughs> so TikTok viral pasta. Coda's is regular pasta. Mine is healthy noodles because <laughs> we are keto. Y'all, so... Coda also has garlic bread because Coda's a bread boy. So... You're not going to see a lot of tomatoes in Koda's because he does not like tomatoes. So I tried mm -mm. to get some of them out. He's kind of nervous about trying this. I don't so, like trying things new. Yeah, you do. And Unless it's Chinese This food. is what I'm drinking, and this will be the only soda I have today because we're cutting those down. And Koda's and got... I have orange juice from Nana. Good <laughs> old-fashioned orange juice. Ooh, careful. I'm going to take a three. Okay, Whitney, you set it down, set it down easy, okay? Mm hmm So, y'all, this, I think it's going to be delicious, but I we'll don't see. Know. And as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see, I have on a deer with the same pattern as Coda's I shirt. I got Grandpa's shirt on. I got it from a boutique on, uh... What's that thing? Part of a tomato. A boutique on TikTok. And it was cute, so I had to buy it. And you all know, I'm from Wyoming. We love wildlife, and we love flannel. So, why not have both? And it's got these cute little arm patches, too. So. Arm patches? Yeah, see them? Or elbow oh. patches? Aren't they cute? It's cute it looks huh? like they cut a piece off of my shirt and put it on there. <laughs> so, weight loss update, y'all. I dropped almost two pounds. So I am at 63.6 pounds. 63.6. Sir, or no, 63.4, sorry. Wait, wait. First thing. What? Oh, that's going to be a good crunch for him. So these are the healthy noodles. If y'all haven't tried these, you need to try these because you can't really tell the difference. This is deliciousness, is what this is. Oh. Oh, Coda. What? That is good. No, yours is keto. The only difference is the noodles. The sauce is the same. I didn't oh. use a whole pack of cherry tomatoes either. Because he doesn't like tomatoes, and tomatoes are higher in carbs. Well, no, I've never seen a person get fired off of a tomato. So I use five ounces of cherry tomatoes or Inspection. grape tomatoes, something like that. And five ounces of feta cheese. Okay, let's try this. If they would go on the fork. So this is 2.7 net grams of carbs. It's good. It tastes like couscous cous cous cheese with noodles. It's good, huh? Mmm. It's good, and you know, you just don't want to admit it. <laughs> I give it like. Mm. I put basil, oregano, garlic, salt. Um, like, um, all-purpose seasoning. Like a seven. That's not bad. A seven or six. <laughs> Cheese tastes kind of sour and weird. That's because it's feta. I'm guessing that means Italian word for Greek. Greek? Yep. Oh, I thought it would have been like a Rom ancient Roman word. Mm-mm. So... It is Get to Know Me Sunday. Remember, we do not do a giveaway question on Sundays. But y'all did get the last one, right? Hey. A lot of you. A lot of you did. Oh, Mama. What? Can I tell them a riddle that me and Uncle Jeff made? No. No. What? 
Because it's not YouTube appropriate. Oh no, it's a card one. <laughs> it's not like Uncle Jeff's average <laughs> riddles. <laughs> it's mm. like this. So you have four stuff, cars. Sorry. They all have wheels, including a spare tire. Uh -uh. Don't be. Microphone picks it up. And how m many wheels does it have? Say it again. How many wheels does four cars have? Each has spare tires. So five per car. Mm hmm. How many does it have? 20. Are you sure? Four cars. Each has a spare w tire. So five tires per car. Okay, five times four is 20. You're missing something, huh? Steering wheel. <laughs> Apparently y'all are going to get some... Uh, some puppy snores. Puppy snoring ASMR over here. I think you snore too much. <laughs> Pancho. <laughs> Panchos. You're snoring too much. So why are you going to give me a noodle? Eat your pasta, Cora. So you're going to give me a noodle? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. And the stuff you come up with. Oh, uh, me and Uncle Jeff came up with this. Yeah. They'll get a kick out of that one. Uncle Jeff is my aunt's husband, and Coda absolutely loves him. He's my favorite person in the world, mine's grandpa. Really? I'm not far down on the list? You're second. I'm second? Grandpa's first. Really? Okay, hey, grandpa, life to you. Grandpa takes me hunting and everything. Yeah, but I can't, you wouldn't be here without me. I could be, but not here on in this house. You would not be you without me. So, ha, ha. No, that's okay. And guess what? You wouldn't be here without Grandpa. Very true. Touche, eh? <laughs> Kate, eat. <laughs> mm. Oh, that orange juice is sour. It tastes like a sour gummy bear. Tastes like the CBD gummy bears. The what? The CBD gummy bears. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. What'd you do? You didn't see it like fly up? Mom. Yeah, no, watch it. No, Don't. you ain't feed me. Okay, then eat. Don't bang your glass on the table, please. But, Mom, <laughs> you do that again. Quit talking and eat. And then watch it go flying He's on the He's obviously camera. in a talkative mood today, yo. Just eat it. It's and not the bad. The cheese tastes weird. It does not. Honestly, I think it's the orange making it taste weird. It might be, actually. Orange juice probably was not the best pairing with it. Yeah. I sure brought a water. <laughs> Is there hey. one on the floor? No. No? Eat your pasta, please. You're going to do some more puppy ASMR? Don't drink any more orange juice. Let's put a piece of garlic bread. That'll change the flavor. Mm. You honestly know what this tastes like? What? A crouton. <laughs> well, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, I love croutons. It's crunchy as it. Do croutons have garlic on them? Mm-hmm. Some of them. I think you can get croutons in like all different kinds of flavors. Really? Mm-hmm. Chocolate? No. <laughs> Child. Well, I mean, I wouldn't put anything past. This is the world. You never know. <laughs> I would Oh. But then again, if it's a part of some culture, don't right, we make don't it seem like it's horrible See, thing. y'all, I raised my child to be respectful and also, my father is Mexican, so don't right. be racist. Of other people's cultures. And Nama's boyfriend is black. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of colored people in my family. We, and, honey, 
We don't say that, okay? But anyways, we have a very diverse family is what Koda is saying. We have my sister-in-law is Japanese, which means my nephew is part Japanese and so adorable. If you all haven't seen him. Any cute. <laughs> but <laughs> dog snoring again. And my husband is Mexican from Mexico. I'm very proud of that. My stepfather is black and Native American. Really? Mm hmm And my stepmother is Native American. Um, oh, yeah, my yeah. family is Native American. <laughs> Hence my name. Didn't Nemo say she found it off of some Native American movie? Uh, on HBO or something? Back in the 80s, yeah. So, it was when talkers or wind walkers I can't remember there's a new version of it too with Nicolas Cage but um my name my real name which is Tashina if y'all didn't know that what's it translated to it means meadow with sunflowers and I hate sunflowers <laughs> how ironic is that I do I think sunflowers are not pretty why do you not like them? Did they like you in the face or something? I think it's because they carry a lot of bees and all that, and with me being allergic. Mm, yeah. Because... Luckily, I'm not aller allergic. That's why I keep ants. Well, it, working on Great Grandpa's ranch, there's a lot of sunflowers up there. Did you see them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of sunflowers up there. So I would have to be really, really careful when I was little. I'm Otherwise, not allergic, right? No. Well, there's the evidence. I get stung by ants all the time because I play in the ant hills. Well, ants and bees are different, honey. No, they're actually evolved from bees. If y'all didn't know, Hoda is a bug connoisseur. No, I'm um biologist kind of. Especially ants. But so here how is how it goes. Hold on. It has been for years. His first love was planets. Oh God, I could tell you every planet in the solar system. Eat, baby. And where every star is, what star <laughs> it is. He's in the mood to talk, talk, talk today. And not eat. Because Coda loves bread. Let me tell you what. Bread of any shape or form and he's not even eating that so that tells you I am now that he's in a talkative mood <laughs> oh that's a big bite there you go that he's in a talkative mood Pancho's in a snoring mood apparently so the dog is in a snoring mood <laughs> y'all I have been working my butt off I thought you were going to say the other word. No. I don't know. Mom keeps it clean. But I've been working my butt off cleaning this house, like organizing. You know, we moved in two years ago. Well, over two years ago. Almost three a years, actually. A little bit. Because it was a little bit before my brain tumor, actually, when Grandpa yeah. retired. So, it was the month after he we had his retirement party mm -hmm. and all that, almost exactly. But, you know. It took know, him a month to move out. And my dad is not, has not gotten all his stuff out of here. My basement is full of his stuff. And, and so I don't really have a whole lot of room to put my stuff. We moved from a three bedroom to two bedrooms basically and lost three very large closets. My husband has a ridiculous amount of clothes and shoes. And so I don't well, have room actually. for everything. And I lost a lot of cabinet storage. That's because I took the cabinets off. Well, that, and there's not as many here as there was in the other place. But Unless you so want to put some downstairs. Uh huh. So I don't have a lot of storage. So it's been. Here. Take another bite of that, please. No. Yeah. What? Why? That cheese is good with couscous, but not with that. Well, can you take at least one more bite for me? Okay, I'll take one noodle. 
No, one bite. <laughs> Noodles are long. I, no, they're not. Here. Show uh, them it's not that bad. It's really not. But. Probably shouldn't have taken a drink of that. Taken. But, so. I have had stuff just like stacked wherever I could find a space. Y'all, it ain't been used in the last couple years. It went in the garbage. Unless we lost it in one of the boxes downstairs. I'm just done doing all that. Like, mm -mm. I didn't intend on eating all these, but I like it, as you can tell. Coda might not, but I do. Heather's going to come over today. She's going to get some of this. Oh, wait. That's not what I meant to do. So, anyways. Yeah. I'll burn lots of calories, Bert. Put it that way. Alright, y'all. So, mm. hey. You're making a mess. So, we will see you back here on... Or, I will see you back here on Ghost <coughs> Story Wednesday. I'm sorry that Coda was not super... Uh, eating today I'm we all know that this is not too long ago well and we know that this pasta is not a huge hit with Cora. it is with me i thought it was delicious i like feta cheese it is an acquired taste but um i'll it's see you back here man. on ghost story wednesday and we're gonna actually kind of do like a topic with a story type thing and uh i hope you all have a fantastic or had a fantastic weekend and have a fantastic beginning of your week go Chiefs because that's who we're rooting for on Super Bowl Sunday which y'all see this video on Super Bowl Sunday can Chiefs. I say something? no okay <laughs> he was gonna say Brady <laughs> no I was gonna we say we don't like Boo. him yeah nope we are Chiefs fans over here. Number one, we are Broncos fans. Number two, Chiefs. I grew up supporting the Chiefs and the Broncos. I have my dad's family is from Colorado. My mother's family is from Missouri. So those are our two teams. And Patrick Mahomes is a cutie. I mean, come on. And he's a fantastic quarterback. If he's this good, this young, imagine what he'll be when he's the age of Brady. Old. How old is Brady? Like 42, 43. Ugh. Oh my God. We don't like Brady. If you don't like Brady, Brady, I'm sorry. We don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to each their own, right? So anyways, have a fantastic Super Bowl Sunday. And like I said, go Chiefs. And as always, stay warm and stay blessed. Bye, y'all. Bye. Mate, this thing don't want to work, so... <laughs>